Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Benny. Today, we will be reacting to another creepy TikTok compilation video. And for you guys, if it's your first time here, welcome. And now, without further ado, let's watch. You know, as we're getting closer to Halloween, that would be a very scary scenario if you're home alone. Then what's your name then? Hmm. Matt, can you come down please? Is this a continuation of that first video? Oh, okay, this is something else. Sounds in the bells from the girl's doll. Door slowly opens. wonder if Max is her dog or... I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so that first clip sounded like my mom on Saturday mornings. And if you got a Mexican parent, I'm sure you can relate. When your motion sensor camera picks up uninvited visitors. how that guy felt but there's cases of people that truly believe that there was entities there or just you know how you would see a normal person standing right in front of you but uh i think there was a video not that long ago that we watched here on this channel where there was a security guard uh watching another co-worker his another security guard on the on the footage saying i think yeah i believe it was in the hospital and he was talking to a little girl holding the balloons and his partner was like who are you talking to so long story short i guess things like this might happen to someone but it's the unexplainable and then that question comes up if the dead are really departed or are they stuck here on earth i guess we will we won't know until we cross that bridge right and the dog out and Roland wanted to go check it out and uh, i can't believe we caught this Roland seems hyped and he's trying to explain to me what he just saw. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that, bud. Must have been reincarnated as a demon a in a past life or something. A monster, Mama. There's nobody there. Where? Point. It's a, a monster. Point. A monster. Where is it? Point to where it is. Over there, Mama. Where? Over there, Mama. A monster? Over there, Mama. Over there, Mama. What's he doing?
that one clip with the kid um, pulling the exorcist. That was trippy. I've never seen anything like that. The worst video on the dark web. They were visiting a deceased family member, but as they approached, they made a terrible discovery. So if anybody's got any explanation of what the heck was going on there, I would like to know. I wonder if it was one of those satanic rituals, uh, a lot of screams, fire, a lot of mysterious things. Here's the worst exploration of the dark web. It was published a week ago anonymously. According to the description, the guy in the video is jacketing an abandoned factory but is about to stumble across something terrifying. I'm trying to understand what I just watched. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know what to say to that one. Um, it looks... I, I couldn't even understand what the language was. So if anybody's got an idea, put it in the comments below. Animals looking a little different. That looks like a... A sloth. Could have been a sloth or a monkey. Oh yeah, I seen this one. So creepy. <laughs> have you guys seen the previous uh, videos of mine? There's a dog that looks like that, and I said, "Man, the dog needs some oh calming shoes." Talk to us, open the door. What the heck? Dog is probably fast. Yeah, some of those, uh, that first clip of that dog, that black dog, is trippy. It sounds like someone entered the building. Surely does. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god.
But why would you just lay on the bed, though? <laughs> At least try to get something to defend yourself. Like, make a stand. It's insane. You're screwed. Yeah, at that point, she just gave up. This freaking thing, uh... It's staring at me. It followed me home from the gifting rock. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning right now. I think I'm gonna... I don't know what to do. But, uh, it followed me home, and it is absolutely staring at me right now. Oh. All right. That looked like a skeleton or bones. I don't know how anyone would fix that. Whoa. Is that the mole people? God, I'm really glad I never encountered somebody sleepwalking in my life. Oh, hell no. Oh, God. What? A bunch of goosebumps. This looks like a movie, though. Crazy. Horn demon being accosted by tribesmen in Brazil as I was attempting to alive an animal. Watch the rocks being thrown. One broke its horn. A creepy, distorted, uh, lady face demon monster thing really caught me. Really gave me goosebumps. I'm I'm pretty sure it was from a movie. That can't be real. And then the the sleepwalking mom. Oh man. <laughs> like I said, I'm really happy. I've never encountered someone sleepwalking. Cause that is yeah, that's frightening. They have rats in Australia. Well, not ones that size, isn't it? It sounded like a chicken. It's not weird that he got so scared that he threw his camera, but let's try to slow down the video and take a closer look. And I know what you are thinking because of the sound. You think it was a chicken, but again, why would a chicken look so demonic and ready to kill everyone on the spot? To be honest with you, I basically gave up on figuring out what it was. All I know is that the video, for some reason, is simply terrifying. That's a super chicken. In my honest opinion, it looks like a cat, but what makes me second guess is the way it moves. It's weird. It's a super cat. I mean, it sprung up like a cat, so, but that noise that it made, so it was like a hybrid of a chicken and a cat? I'm still going with cat imitating a chicken. That's my final answer. Take it or leave it. This video was captured in a hospital. The patient in the hospital bed starts recording the hospital bed across the room from them. The sheets on the bed start moving sporadically, and at some point it almost looks like hands and legs are pushing out of the sheets. Where hospitals are so connected to life and death, a lot of people that work in medical fields have reported paranormal activity that they've witnessed at first account. But having to witness this as you're laying in a hospital bed would be absolutely terrifying. What would you do if you were in the emergency room and this started happening across the room from you? Let me know. Don't forget to like and follow for more creepy content. Bye. I would run. I would run. Yeah, 
uh, what the announcer said about hospitals being connected to life and death is very true. They almost seem like the gate between the final crossing, so. Whoa. Hope that doesn't happen to my doorknob in the back. Zoom in and slow down so you can see the face appear and disappear. That's a big head. It's a big headed ghost. That was a big ghost. Look at those footprints. I think it's true what they say about ghosts. They're distorted and unproportionate. So it kind of makes sense why that ghost or apparition has a big head but it's normal to see people with big feet so that's not tripping me out it's a big old head with the black eyes i really need to get cameras that have motion detection like that but at the same time watching a video like this So it says, please tell me what this is supposed to mean. This happens while we're really sleeping. Is this really demons or what? Yeah, you, there's a bunch of orbs. The baby crying. These are all tall tell is it tall tail signs did the camera just freeze <laughs> oh yeah you know when you got all these signs stuff moving orbs appearing not to be confused with like dust or bugs because most of the times it's it is dust or bugs you got things falling you got things moving you got a baby crying yeah it's time to move out i forgot the only thing that's missing is upside down crosses or religious pictures or crosses falling from the wall that's it this person captured something absolutely terrifying going on in the trust like while watching this video just close attention to the blind all right my daughter's room is up there and we keep seeing some all right put your flashlight up <gasps> what is that? okay wait we're gonna look down for a minute but put your flashlight down I don't see anything. let's see if we can get it to go again it seems like every time the light isn't shining in the window there's something peeking out of their blind and once they shine the light back on then it closes. where now, once they shine the light on the TV, you do not see anything in the room until, like, what looks like the silhouette of a child's head is standing oh, I see it. the window. One of the children run in to go see what's going on, and then the video ends after this last time. Yes, there is a huge possibility that this could be fake, but the children's reactions to this seem very genuine. They all seem really scared. Do these people mm. have a poltergeist in their home? Have you ever experienced anything like this? Let me know. I mean, there is that possibility that it could be fake. The parents could have probably told the kids to act a certain way. But still, you could see the silhouette and then you saw the blinds peeking, but like the, s the silhouette of a kid. So maybe there's multiple apparitions. Yeah. It's a head scratcher. You guys see something right there? Why 
it's not showing on camera. Hold up, let me turn this. That's weird. Uh-uh. I swear there's something over there. It's like right there. What is that? Hello? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Wait. Hey! That's something? Hello? Take care, take care. It's right there. How can you not see it? Uh, whoa. Hey. Hey, can you guys see this? Maybe it was a homeless statue, an object. I've been watching Franco TV of YouTube for years. He explores cemeteries and mausoleums alone, and at night he catches some amazing evidence. His body knocks appeared to be coming from one single tube. Very creepy. I'm getting knocking. I would not like to visit that, those places. Yeah. That's going to be a no for me. Was that three Hola? knocks? Hello? King ass. Who's there? Is that coming from? <laughs> it sounds like it's coming from the tomb areas. That's three knocks, you know what that means? Yeah, I'm gonna change my brightness there. Carmelia? Sarah? Natasha? So I'll tell you one thing, three knocks is not a good omen. Going to the tombstone. Did he say it was daytime? That does not look like daytime. All right, guys. Well, that's all the videos that I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. As always, it has been a pleasure to react with you guys on this type of content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.